Let's go. And you will say, oh. Welcome to your library today. This weekend, today is Saturday, the 12th day of March 2022. Your library today, our topic is Jesus Christ, a new and better covenant. As if we didn't know that anyway. But let's check it out the more so that we can learn, learn a few things and um, get more accustomed to that fact that Jesus Christ is a new and better covenant for us. We'll be reading from Hebrews in chapter 8, and we'll be reading from the first verse. Let's go quickly. Now, the point in what we are saying is this. We have such a high priest, one who is seated at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, a minister in the sanctuary, and the true tent, which is set up not by man, but by the Lord. For every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. Hence, it is necessary for this priest also to have something to offer. Now, if he were on earth, he would not be a priest at all, since there are priests who offer gifts according to the law. They serve a copy and shadow of the heavenly sanctuary. For when Moses was about to erect the tent, he was instructed by God saying, see that you make everything according to the patterns which was shown you on the mountain. But as it is, Christ has obtained a ministry which is as much more excellent than the old as the covenant he mediates is better, since it is enacted on better promises. There would have been no occasion for a second, for he finds fault with them when he says, The days will come, says the Lord, when I will establish a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not like the covenant that I made with their fathers on the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, for they did not continue in my covenant. And so I paid no heed to them, says the Lord. This is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws into their minds and write them on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people, and they shall not teach everyone his fellow or everyone his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me, from the least of them to the greatest for I will be merciful towards their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. In speaking of a new covenant, it treats the first as obsolete, and what is becoming obsolete and growing old is ready to vanish away. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank God for the new covenant and for Jesus Christ that has given us that better covenant than the old one. Because we would have been killing turtle doves every day now. We would have been looking for sacrifices. Then there would have been a lot of trading around the temple like it was in the days of Jesus Christ. To the extent that some were even cheating others in the course of selling and buying near the temple. And 
Jesus Christ himself got so annoyed one day and he had to offset the tables of the money changers and those that were doing the trade. Therefore, rather than the old covenant that will require daily sacrifices and even the high priest that will make the sacrifices himself had to atone for his own sins first, otherwise he could just die within the temple, especially if it's on the day that he goes, just one day in a year that he goes into the Holy of Holies. Can you imagine that? And now comparing that with the covenant that we have in Christ, that all you need to do is just do the will of the Lord, love the Lord with all of your heart, with all of your mind, love your neighbor as yourself, and uh, call the name of Jesus into any situation, and then you get results. And then concerning teaching and learning rather than having priests so to say that like they had in those days and it was perhaps only the family of priests only the levites that had access to the scriptures now we have a better covenant such that not only do we all have access to the scriptures we actually have access to the holy spirit and the holy spirit is always able to teach us because that is one of the things that the holy spirit was promised for said that um, he will send a comforter and that that comforter will also teach us all things whatsoever we need to do and so that is that new covenant and so that new covenant does not expect you to wait for me as a preacher as a priest of the church or as a pastor to be teaching you the scriptures it only expects that you also should search the scriptures for in them you actually have eternal life and they are they that testify of Jesus Christ who has the better covenant. Let me therefore invite you, if you also want to join us, those of us that have access to that better and new covenant, you want to be part of that better and new covenant through Jesus Christ, you want to have the Holy Spirit leading you and guiding you in all that you do all the days of your life. You want to call upon the name of Jesus and he answers you and he gives you your heart's desires, then all you need to do is say this prayer quickly after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I have now been told of that new and better covenant that you are. Therefore, I also want to be part of you. Forgive me of all my past sins. Give me a new lease of life from today. Accept me as one of yours, I pray in Jesus' name. If you said that prayer, welcome to the kingdom. Find a Bible-believing church close to you, join them, worship with them, grow with them, and establish that new covenant into your life too. If you happen to find an Anglican church close by, oh, find time to always fellowship with them. And like I always say, if you happen to be in Oshobo, Oshun State, Nigeria, come to the Anglican Church of Estate Extension. You can join us at our service tomorrow, and we'll be able to fellowship together. All of us together now, let's say this prayer, say, Heavenly Father, Thank you that through the blood of Jesus, we have a new and better covenant. Help me to live my life as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to you, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So go out today, for the rest of today, recognize that Jesus Christ has that new and better covenant for you and for me. Tap into it, teach others about it, so that it can be well with all of us together. God bless you. Amen. I judge you faithful. I call you.